Well, this is our last video in the series of how to stay healthy in COVID, where we've unpacked the acronym SEEDS. Today is S for spiritual. And I guess you're thinking, well, Anne, you're the pastor. You're obviously going to speak to this. Actually, I'm not at the beginning. I'm going to ask Derek, our counsellor, to speak from a counselling perspective. So over to you, Derek. Well, thanks, Pastor Anne. Look, Lockdown is such a challenging time because it disrupts our routine, it erodes our sense of freedom and our sense of hope, and we can feel quite out of control. And this disruption puts us under stress and our brain's fight-flight mechanism kick in. So when our fight-flight brain kicks in, we find ourselves in an emotional storm. We don't think straight and we become hypersensitive and hyperreactive and every response becomes exaggerated. And we can become a bit more edgy than usual, even in response to small challenges. And we tend to argue and fight. <laughs> even the best of us can do that. Mm. That's right. And, and you know, and we tend to, uh, we can actually even fixate on something so insignificant and it blows out into the worst case scenario that drags us into anxiety and depression. And what we perceive is the problem literally consumes our minds and our hearts and it distracts us from where we find real peace and the real solution, which is Jesus. And here is actually where psychology and our faith come together. In psychology, there is a class of techniques called grounding. Um, it is basically a way to dial down troubling emotions to a manageable level. We use grounding in, in dealing with situations such as anxiety and depression and trauma. So basically, whenever our brain is hijacked by the fight flight response, Grounding helps us to get our, our thinking brain back. And for my Christian clients, I teach them to ground themselves by mindfully calling on Jesus using simple words and phrases such as, Jesus, I trust in you. I mean, I teach my clients to, to repeat these words calmly and deliberately and purposefully in a surrender posture. And in those simple words, we turn our attention back to Jesus. We're not dismissing the challenge. We are actually acknowledging the challenge. But more importantly, we are actually surrendering our challenges to Jesus and reconnecting with Jesus, who is the solution. And once our emotional storm calms down, the solution will come. And hopefully the nasty emotions that took hold will have a lesser hold on you and they might even dissipate altogether. Wow, I love that angle on spirituality, Derek. Thank you. And look, to finish, can I just say that an essential part of our spiritual being is our need for a sense of purpose. And wow, in this pandemic, our, our whole life routine has changed. And for some, it, it's been hard to find a sense of purpose every day. Can I say that God's plans for you is written in Psalm 139 verse 16 or Jeremiah 29 11 still stands. You know, God knew that COVID was coming, but he still has a plan for you each day. What do you think of that, Derek? Absolutely. And I think that's the great news. Yeah. So, look, our spiritual being is satisfied in two ways. Firstly, by helping others. So, you know, make that phone call to someone that needs to hear that another human being loves them and is thinking of them. Or do a, an act of kindness in a COVID safe way for somebody and really bring joy to them. But secondly, you know, connect with God. We do that by talking to him, which we call prayer. We do it by reading the Bible, which is his word to us. We do it by worshipping from our grateful heart. And we do it by mixing together with people of a, a similar belief with us. So that will help keep us well spiritually. So that's the end of our series. And we hope that you've really been helped by it. Derek, thank you. What thank you, Pastor Anne. And, um, and thank you, everybody, for watching. And look, if you want to discuss any more of this, please contact me on the email below. We'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, stay safe and God bless you.